Hello students. So welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to discuss very short answers from the exemplar topic photosynthesis in higher plants. Now see, they are given this question. This is a one we have to see here. And this is two. Clear? Now they are asking, is this structure present in animal cell or plant cell? Then what is your answer? First of all, identify the figure. Figure is chloroplast and photosynthesis occurs here. So this structure is present in the plant cell and not in the animal cell. Second question is, can they be passed on to the progeny? Yes, they can be passed because chloroplast can replicate. Chloroplast and mitochondria, they both are semi-autonomous organelles. So they can replicate their own DNA. Then third is name the metabolic process taking place in one and in two. So if you see in one, this is the stroma of the chloroplast where dark reaction will take place. You can see the arrow is up till here. Analyze the diagram number one is up till here. So here this is a stroma. Number one is a stroma where the dark reaction will occur. And what is B? Means two option. It is the extra nuclear DNA, means chloroplast DNA, which is responsible for replication. So that the chloroplast can produce its own copy and can be passed to the progeny cell. See the second question. This is an equation given to us and they're asking, where does this reaction take place in plants? So answer will be this reaction, first of all, it is occurring in grana. In it is occurring in chloroplast and in chloroplast in the grana it will be occurring. And it is associated with the PS2, so it is located on the inner surface of thylakoid membrane. Now, and it is a part of the light reaction. Second is what is the significance of this reaction? So if you see, it is important because then only the oxygen, which is a byproduct, is released, which is significant because then only the essential for the all living organisms, it is actually, you know, it's very essential. Hydrogen ions will be used in reducing NADP to NADPH, which is a very strong reducing agent. And the electrons released will be transferred from PS2 to PS1 through a series of electron carrier, and they will be creating a gradient for, so that synthesis of ATP can be done. So I hope so till two questions are easy. Move to the third question. Cyanobacteria and some photosynthetic bacteria don't have chloroplast. Then how do they conduct photosynthesis? So first of all, they are prokaryotes. They do not have membrane-bound organelle, but they are having the photosynthetic pigment, which is attached to the membrane that is known as chromatophore. Okay, you can open and check in your cell, the unit of life. Okay, so they are having the pigment attached to the membrane structure that is chromatophore, which is able to trap and use the light energy. So they are able to carry out photosynthesis. Next question, NADP reductase enzyme is located where? Filling the blanks and breakdown of protein gradient leads to the release of what? So see the answer. NADP reductase enzyme is located on the outer side of thylakoid membrane. Please check chemiosmosis and CRT theory. You will find it there. Clear? And breakdown of proton gradient will lead to the formation of ATP molecule. Now let us move to the fourth question. Can we do girdling experiment in monocot? First of all, girdling means you are removing all the tissue outside Vascular cambium means you are removing the bark. The question is, can it will be performed in monocot? If yes, how? And if no, then why not? First of all, you cannot do this in the monocot. Why? Reason is, monocot stems are having scattered vascular bundle. They are having scattered vascular bundle. So you cannot reach to the specific band up to the phloem tissue, what we are able to achieve in the dicot. Now, sixth question, if they give you this equation, okay, and they're asking how many molecules of ATP and NADPH are required to fix one molecule of carbon dioxide? And second question is, where in the chloroplast does this process occur? So see carefully, two molecules of ATP and two molecules of NADPH are required per carbon dioxide fixed. The two molecules of ATP are used for reduction. 
and one molecule of ATP is used for regeneration. Clear for regeneration, that is why we say phosphorylation. The total, we are using three molecules of ATP and we are using two molecules of NADPH for one molecule of carbon dioxide fixed. Now, where does this reaction take place? It will occur in the stroma of the chloroplast. Is it clear? This will occur in the stroma of the chloroplast. You can calculate from here also. For three, we are using nine. So for one carbon dioxide, we are using three. Is it clear? We are using three ATP and we are using two NADPH. Two ATP will be used in reduction and one ATP will be used during regeneration. Now, seventh question. Does moonlight support photosynthesis? Let us see the answer. Plant cannot carry out photosynthesis in the moonlight. Why? Because the so much energy is not there to excite the chlorophyll molecule. Means that much energy will not be present in that wavelength so that the electron can be excited from PS2 and given to the electron acceptor. So light dependent reaction cannot start. So photosynthesis cannot occur in the presence of moonlight. Now let us explain few terms. These are the terms. See, what is Hachen Slack pathway? It is the one which is discovered by Sir Hachen Slack, and it is the process by which C4 plants are preparing the glucose. Hachen Slack pathway is seen in those plants which are surviving in the dry tropical conditions. They have developed two types of chloroplast. Mesophyll cell chloroplast is granum, bundle sheet cell without granum. It means they are showing C4 pathway. Calvin cycle is the one by which carbon dioxide is actually converting or you can say it is getting reduced to form glucose. In all type of plant, whether C3 plant or C4 plant or CAM plant, all photosynthetic plants will use Calvin cycle to prepare sugar. PEP carboxylase. The PEP carboxylase is a primary carbon dioxide acceptor, uh, sorry, it is catalyzing the reaction which is done in the C4 plant and in CAM plant where the PEP is accepting the carbon dioxide. That reaction is catalyzed by this enzyme PEP case. So this is an enzyme present in the mesophyll cell of C4 plant. Bundle sheet cells, they are especially sclerenchymatous cell present around vascular bundle. Okay, they are having a granular chloroplast. C3 cycle will occur here in C4 plants. In C4 plants, C3 cycle will occur in bundle sheet cell. Now, where is NADP reductase enzyme located and what is the role of this enzyme in proton gradient development? So this enzyme is located on the outer side of the thylakoid and this enzyme causes breakdown of proton gradient by use, removing the proton from the stroma and making NADPH. Is it clear? Tenth question, ATP enzyme consists of two parts. What are those two parts and how are they arranged in thylakoid membrane? And conformational change occur in which part of the enzyme? So see, first of all, it has two parts, F1 and F0. See the diagram here. This is your CF1, okay? This is CF1 and this is CF0. Two parts are there. CF0 is actually working as a transmembrane channel. It is working as a transmembrane channel and CF1 is a peripheral membrane protein which contain an enzyme ATP synthase so that the ADP plus inorganic phosphate can combine to form ATP. So conformational change will occur in CF1 so that the ATP formation can be done. Now, which product will form during light reaction are used to derive the dark reaction? ATP and NADPH. So light reaction will produce three things, ATP, NADPH and oxygen, but oxygen diffuses away and ATP and NADPH is used in the dark reaction. 
then what is the basis for differencing the between C3 and C4 pathway? See here, C3 pathway is also known as C3 cycle. Carbon dioxide fixation is done and the first stable product is three carbon compound. So in C4 plants, the Calvin cycle will occur in bundle sheet cell, but before reaching to the bundle sheet, the carbon dioxide is accepted by the three carbon compound. Okay, the three carbon compound is PEP to form four carbon first stable product that is oxaloacetic acid, which is then transported to the bundle sheet, which uh, where it undergo decarboxylation. So I hope so. This video has helped you to revise fast all the topics and all these very short answers of your exemplar questions. Thanks for watching.